Hey folks, I'm <coughs> back with another video. <coughs> this one, uh, this is uh, uh, doing the bathroom now. And uh, let me show you what I got. Flip this thing around so I can see what's going on. All right, since I wasn't recording again, uh, I'm getting ready to uh, put paint remover on this and take all the gray off and just go with stainless steel. And then I'm going to put this back in the hole. I had to ream that out because I changed the drain. So I'm going to put that back in the hole, mark where the outside edges are at on that. And then I'm going to hammer down this area right around here so that it's it's countersunk because right now as it is um it 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 won't let all the water drain i haven't tested it but i'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen so right now i'm getting ready to go get my uh paint remover and uh apply it to this let it soak in for a few minutes and then uh, scrape it off, and then whatever I can't get off, I'll uh, use a wire brush on. That's, that's working out better than I thought it would. great if I can do do it without making having to scrape it. So now I'll just use the drill and uh, clean it up some more. you take a look at this all right so here's here's what I got as you can see it's got like a brushed look on it I still got to clean the corners out what I did in the corners was a little different I had to, um, I cut the corners out and then I had to fiberglass them in so down there is fiberglass and up on both sides is fiberglass and the same thing over here so that's going to be a little bit more. I'll probably just have to use uh, sandpaper or I'll use my Dremel tool, one or the other. And still got to get the, uh, let's see, the corners right there with that other brush, that other wire brush. But it's looking really good. Um, so 
Uh, next thing will be to dent that in right there around the edges and uh, so it can be countersunk and I'll probably on these right here uh, I'll probably screw these into the wall the walls are very thin so I'll probably screw these into the wall possibly or uh, go to Home Depot and get me some uh, uh, aluminum sheet metal and um, just you know a very short uh, thin piece not, not very wide about an inch wide maybe half inch wide and mount it just above this right here on the wall and that way it will lay over top of here and that way there's no way water will get down inside there I'll probably do that on on all the sides all the tops rather but anyhow I just wanted to show you what I've been doing and I'll let me go out there and show you um, the, the base alright so here's the base right here uh, this is where that pan sits right here goes across there so I'll have to clean that wood back up remount that back up there and right there um, and I'm gonna raise the base just a hair off the off the floor because uh, I'm using a composting toilet this is where the composting toilet will be inside of here I'll have another brace across here um, and then a uh, eastern red cedar again yeah you, yeah you can tell that I, I, I kinda like eastern red cedar anyhow so uh, eastern red cedar top it'll hinge up or I can just pull it out but on the bottom uh, I'll drill a hole in the bucket and I'll make I have a I have a uh, motor a DC motor I bought where's that thing at oh here it is right here DC motor I bought and what's really strange about this one there you go um, is and this will there will be a link in the description for this I'm pretty sure I bought it on, the, on uh, Amazon but anyhow what's really strange about this is that it uh, do, depending on which way you put, hook the wires up it you know turn clockwise or counterclockwise that's that's really strange for DC AC not necessarily but DC usually if you have the wires hooked up wrong it won't work but on this on this one here on this thing it works in both directions um, and so it, it it's about the speed of a um, of an auger in a uh, or uh, yeah the auger in an ice maker as far as spitting out the ice that's about the speed it goes at so and then you have usually uh, two blades on it that are cocked and so as it's going through the whatever you mulch whatever you decide to put in there it uh, slowly uh, put your solids underneath all that um, So anyhow, that's that's what I got going on so far. Thanks for watching uh, Please subscribe share and like Be safe See you soon